Miami fueled up, bringing the heat to the Windy City. It's always great to be recognized as one of the best in the league in the world. Chicago flag, you know what it is, you know where we at. Hosting the most heat participants in franchise history. It just shows that winning can produce a lot of good things individually for players. Out of fire, the stuff. Not only showcasing their talents, but also uplifting the community. It's always great putting a smile on people's faces, just seeing different people. The excitement and expectations were at an all-time high. I'm with the homies. You know, we all yes, the all-star yes, weekend. Sir. Trying to bring home three yeah, chips for us. As long as we go out there and handle our business, Miami can take over Chicago. Let's go, Bam. Let's go, Bam. Oh! Hey, I'm so proud of you, boy. <laughs> yeah. We have a tornado warning in Chicago. <laughs> I don't think y'all understand how good this feels. Inside the heat. All-Star Weekend. Welcome to Inside the Heat and welcome to All-Star Weekend 2020. I am your host, Jason Jackson. On this episode, we travel to Chicago, Illinois, to give you an all-access pass to a weekend highlighting the NBA's best and brightest stars. All-Star is a four-day frenzy jam-packed with events, player appearances, and, of course, basketball. With a sensational six representatives, the Miami Heat made their presence known on every single day of the festivities. All-Star Weekend in Chicago expected brisk temperatures and snowfall, but a heat wave was coming as Miami was represented in every single event. Today, Tyler Hero was named to play in the Rising Stars game and won't be alone. Kendrick Nunn also selected to play. Tyler and Kendrick are the first set of Heat teammates to make this roster since Dwayne Wade and Udonis Haslam in 2004. It's going to be amazing. I'm um, just blessed to be part of it. The journey's been long, but it's just beginning, and um, it's a great first step of my story. Kicking off All-Star Saturday, Bam Adebayo was selected to participate in the Skills Challenge as the second Heat player selected for this competition. Joining two-time winner Dwayne Wade, Bam's goal is singular. I'm just go out there and try to be as skillful as I <laughs> can be. Yeah, we'll go with that. Well, add Duncan Robinson to the list of Heat players you will see on NBA All-Star Weekend. Robinson will be in the three-point shootout. I'm excited to get a chance to showcase himself against the best, so should be uh, should be fun. Watch this. Derrick Jones Jr. is headed to the slam dunk contest. The kid is only 22 years old, and already he is showing out. Yeah, that's a thing of beauty, if I do say so myself. Rounding out the weekend. All-Star Reserve announcements were made for two standout Heat players. Jimmy Butler. Well deserved. Fifth yep. All-Star selection in his ninth season. It's always great to be recognized as one of the best in the league in the world. And finally, Bam out of fire. It was a great moment just because I've never experienced being an All-Star before. So, you know, I feel like my mom was the happiest in the room. It just shows that winning can produce a lot of good things individually for players. As long as we go out there and handle our business, Miami can take over Chicago. Immediately following their game in Utah, All-Star break began in the middle of the night with anticipation and excitement for the weekend ahead. Your All-Star dynamic begins. How you feel? It feels great. You know, it, it feels better than with my teammates. How great does this feel going home in this weekend? Oh, it's a great feeling, uh, just to go back to Chicago, my hometown, enjoy All-Star weekend with these guys, with my teammates. And it's an amazing feeling. And they got to work right away. Thursday morning kicked off with Derek, Kendrick, and Duncan, all making their way through the NBA entertainment circuit. Chicago flag, you know what it is, you know where we at. <laughs> Just having a lot of fun and um, showing a little bit of my personality. Whee! See what I did there, bro? It's flames, it's hot, because I'm with the heat. Any score you think you can beat? Uh, I think I can beat more, we'll see though. Duncan, so how was that going through this NBA media circuit? It was a great experience. Uh, cool to just kind of connect with some different people and uh, do some different things. Meanwhile, Bam created something different with Nike as he designed a hoodie. Keep it as it is. I like the tie. I like this. Did a little shopping. I want these. And took some time to meet fans. What's up, bro? I feel like it's good for people to realize that we're, we're not just basketball players, we're humans. You're welcome, bro. 
How you? I'm good. Later that day, Kendrick made a special trip, stopping by his old stomping grounds to watch practice at his former high school, Simeon Career Academy. The hardwood grind, you hear me? It gives me butterflies, to be honest, just to be on, back on this court now that I'm in the NBA. One of the state championship pictures that I was a part of my first year, freshman year. I wanted Kendrick to come back today and talk to the kids because just all the stuff that he's been through. Y'all know the journey that I took to get to the NBA. It all started right here with the right mentality to work and the right work ethic. And you can be in the same position that I am in. Okay, to see you. Then Duncan was honored in an intimate death with friends and family to kick off his monumental weekend. Definitely just want to thank everybody for coming out. Obviously, it means so much to me. Cheers. I'm so proud of Duncan when he's done to, to get to this point in time, and we're happy to watch him do it. It's so exciting. It's great. We're just so excited for him. It's special to have him here and just be able to celebrate a weekend like this in their presence. And Thursday night was capped off with another Chicago-bred native. Dwayne Wade had an exciting movie premiere. We set out to tell a story about how, how did a kid from the inner city of Chicago become a global icon. It's really, really good to see him doing this because this is very, very important to him. I respect him. He's kind of like my big brother, and he's a big part of why I'm an all-star. You know, he gave me goals that I'm trying to achieve still. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. Chicago is a city rich in basketball tradition, and while frigid, it honestly was a great backdrop for All-Star Weekend. It is also home to up-and-coming Miami Heat guard Kendrick Nunn, who alongside with teammate Tyler Hero, earned himself a spot on the U.S. Rising Stars squad, while Bam Adebayo, Derek Jones, and Duncan Robinson prepared for their upcoming competitions. All-Star Friday belonged to the Baby Goats. We're here because we obviously had some success this season. I'm looking to hopefully get a win against the world team. Rookies Kendrick and Tyler were both at the Rising Stars practice. However, due to an injured right ankle, Tyler did not participate. Obviously tonight I wish I could have played, but I'm excited to uh, watch my teammates. I'm excited to be here and just be, be able to experience this, really. Having six guys here is just incredible. That's almost half our team being at All-Star Weekend, participating in events. Favorite animal? A goat, yeah. Tyler continued his morning with more press. It's a lot of work. This looks hard, though. All right, let's do it. Oh, I can't wait, boy. Wait for this day. About two years. Let's get this W, man. First thing Friday morning, DJ ran some drills and practiced his dunks for the dunk contest. Winner. Duncan was not far behind, getting his shots up from every angle on the three-point line. We're gonna let it fly, man. Take care of business. Shortly after, the two joined forces with Heat legend Glenn Rice for the NBA Cares Day of Service at the Greater Chicago Food Depository. That one made the cut. We're putting the corn in the box, making sure everybody gets some corn out here. I got this corny job, bro. Now I'm doing my job. He's distracting me from doing my job. Go back there somewhere and just shoot. Shoot the peas in. I, I would rather stay here and just dunk them in because I don't get to dunk an actual game, so I just dunk them in like you, you know what I mean? So you're trying to take my job. Exactly. We are the food bank serving Chicago and all of Cook County. One in eight people here in Cook County experience food insecurity on any given day. The need is immense. An event like this is so important. The players help raise awareness for the need in our community. For us to have the opportunity to give back, you know, it's great. It's always great putting a smile on people's faces, just seeing different people. Meanwhile, Bam attended a junior NBA skills camp to spend some quality time with kids in Chicago. Just trying to teach them a little small things that I learned when I was younger. Get in and start dribbling. Up, up, up. I used to always see these type of things happening uh, on TV when I was younger. So I wanted to be a part of it, and I get to be a part of it as a grown-up. I'm just out here trying to inspire kids and just have some fun. You know, just let them know NBA players, we, we care. Yeah. Bam then headed across town to the Navy Pier to talk with ESPN about his career. Oh yes, we would like to welcome in Heat big man, Bam Adebayo. What has made that difference, the things that you've done? My work ethic, and then also, I got the opportunity. So I got the minutes, I got the opportunity to show who I really am. For him to be 22 and where he is in his career right now, it's amazing. Then, 
the moment the baby goats were waiting for. The Rising Stars game was here. With the Miami Heat, Kendrick Nunn! Since Tyler could not play, he made one request of Kendrick. Yeah, I told him to take my shot tonight, too. I was going to take a lot, so I know he'll take some for me. It's obviously a big spotlight, and I'm ready. I'm here to have a lot of fun and represent my teammates, represent Miami Heat, and uh, show them what we're about. And we put a lot of work in, and the results are showing. That feels good when you're rewarded for your hard work and success. Friday night, none balled out, scoring 16 points in the 19 minutes he played against the world team. Step back. He's back home. He's not shot. Just blow by my man. Get a little hang on the rim. Trey found me in transition one time down the lane. Left hand slam. Then I got a steal on one. Right, he's back home. So good. <laughs> Coming back to my hometown, Chicago, playing in the Rising Star game. It's big for me. Everybody wanted me to show up. None. Step, step back. back. Just three, the the Everybody may not believe in me, but I always believe I got a chance to prove it. I got the opportunity, and now I'm taking advantage of it. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. Over the years, the Miami Heat have had a lot of history and success on All-Star Saturday night. The most recent, James Jones winning the three-point contest in 2011. But this year presented a first for the Miami Heat. They had a representative in all three Saturday night contests. Man, words can't explain it, really. Obviously, you know, we're well represented at this weekend, which I think speaks to the season that we've had. It shows how hard we work. It shows we have a lot of talent on this team. Make no mistake, the guys were overcome with humility. I never expected myself to be where I am right now. I definitely didn't expect to be here in year two, um, or maybe at all for that matter. Uh, at this point, you know, I just want to go out and make everybody proud. Before Saturday night's festivities, Jimmy Butler hosted an afternoon full of food and wine. This is what I legit love to do. Obviously, besides play basketball for the Miami Heat. After my career, I'm moving to Italy and I'm doing my wine thing. I got to win some championships first, and then I can take the D-Wade route. But uh, I think I got a lot more to do in the basketball world first. But he wasn't the only one with more to do in the basketball world. As All-Star Saturday night drew near, Jimmy's teammates locked in. Just ready for the night. It's about to be special. As Derrick Jones Jr. arrived to the United Center, he joined Bam Adebayo and Duncan Robinson for pregame photos. I'm just excited, a little anxious, want to get it going, uh, get that first ball off the rack and let it fly. What's up, Miami? It's, it's me, and I'm with I'm with the homies. You know, we all yes, all star weekend, yes, trying to bring home three yeah, chips for us. Oh, yes, yes, sir. First up on that quest was the skills challenge. In the midst of a breakout season. Bam, Adebayo! Siakam, no! Oh! <laughs> yes! Adebayo! Yes! Bam made quick work of Spencer Dinwiddie and Pascal Siakam before matching up in the final round against fellow big, DeMontis Sabonis. Let's go, Bam! Let's go, Bam! He's gonna come down to the side. Make this shot, Bam. With Dwayne Wade watching, the torch was passed as Bam joined him in the All-Star record books. Hey, I'm so proud of you, boys. Ah! <laughs> what am I talking about? When he comes to All-Star, we leave with Kobe. That's what we do. And I know you still have the game coming up, but to be able to start it all off this way has to be super, super awesome. It actually started with me and my mom, man. Just having her here, I feel like it gave me extra energy. You know, I feel like I got to show up for my mom a little bit, and uh. Now brought on a trophy for her. Yeah, y'all take a picture of my mom. Get her one shot in a moment. In the middle of the victory celebration, Bam had one thing on his mind. Make it back on the court in time to support his teammates in their pursuits. Can I run and go see Dr. Shoot? Yes. He's a top three-point marksman for the Miami Heat, Duncan Robinson. <laughs> it's time to make your names. Let's go. He needs this and the money ball. Okay. This and the money ball. He needs 12. Okay. Oh. He needs at least three of Get high. Get high. Come on, dunk. Come on, dunk. Duncan got hot on his last two racks and ended round one with a respectable 19 points. While it wasn't enough to advance to the final round, he still made Heat Nation proud. Oh, pretty good going into it. Not just didn't make enough. 
Um, you know, I know I'm a better shooter than what that was, but you know, that's all right. With the main event approaching, everyone had a prediction for the slam dunk contest. I got Derrick Jones. That man right there. Airplane mode in the building. Derrick, who turned 23 that day, used his first dunk attempt to celebrate his birthday in style. Happy birthday, Derrick. Okay, okay. All right. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Hoping to score a trophy as a present, Derrick earned a 46 on his first dunk. But he needed more to advance to the final round. We have a tornado warning in Chicago. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's mo. 50. You know how that's coming. Derek's 50 propelled him to the final against Aaron Gordon. Derek and Aaron traded 50s back and forth in the final round, leading to not one, but two tiebreakers. And I got more. We want to keep going. Let's keep it going. I got more. In the end, airplane mode took flight and landed the victory. The winner of the 2020 Slam Dunk, Derek Jones Jr. Yay! That was great. Well, now you got to defend next year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Derek and Bam became the first pair of Heat teammates to win on All-Star Saturday night since Glenn Rice and Harold Miner did it 25 years ago. Proud of him, man. You know, uh, you know, I, I'm supporting my man. He like my brother. His son is my godson, man. So it is like family now. This is very special. You know, when I was a kid, I told my dad I was I was going to be a dunk contest champion. I got the chance my rookie year, fell short, came back, and I got it now. Man, I don't, I don't think y'all understand how good this feel. Tell me how good it feel. Man, I'm, it's, it's like, a, it's like a, a newborn baby, bro. You just want to cherish it. You just want to hold it, you know, give them a couple, a couple kisses. Just make sure they good, bro. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. Kendrick Nunn set the tone for the Miami Heat's All-Star Weekend with his 16-point debut in the Rising Stars game. Bam Adebayo and Derrick Jones Jr. kept the momentum going by winning the Skills Challenge and the Slam Dunk Contest. On Sunday, the final day of All-Star, Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo looked to add to the success. But before the game could start, Team Giannis and Team LeBron tackled the buzz of media day. It hasn't hit me yet. It'll hit me soon, but it, it hasn't hit me yet, and uh, I'm just living in this moment right now. It's a great experience just because I got a couple teammates here, and we get to share this moment together. Oh, what up, Jimmy? I've been to an All-Star game before, but I think it's always a little bit special where my whole NBA career started here in Chicago. I got a lot of love for this city, and I'm so fortunate that this city still has a lot of love for me. Between their time with the media and before practice, Jimmy and Bam kept themselves entertained with their weekend teammates and each other. Yes, Heat TV. <laughs> Heat TV, welcome to Heat TV. Five-time NBA All-Star from the Miami Heat, Jimmy Butler. Making his NBA All-Star debut, Bam. How nice is it to be back in this position, in this town, with this guy? I said it over and over again. I really do believe he's the reason that we're winning at such a high level. I hate that I have to say it in front of him, but I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that uh, he's on my team. Legit. How nice is it to hear that, knowing that it, that it, it did hurt the man a little bit? I'm glad he's my teammate. He holds me to a higher standard, and uh, I feel like he's the reason why we're winning. It's between both of us. It's more 60-40, him 60-40, but, uh, you know, it's, it's great to be here. As preparation continued for the game, former Heat All-Star Dwayne Wade found himself center stage at the NBA Legends Brunch. I'm here to present the Community Ambassador Award. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Dwayne 
Tyrone Wade. First of all, just sitting in that seat, you know, I started thinking about the first time I was in this room. It was in 2004. How you doing, Mr. Burr? It's an honor to meet you guys. Hey, I didn't know you were that good, did you? <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's an honor to be around these guys. Great basketball mind, but great players. And so it's just an honor to be here. Fast forward 16 years later, and Wade is the one who others can look up to. I've had so many great role models along the way that have shown me the way. And I just try to, to do the same. Thank you guys for this honor. We appreciate it. We'll continue to try to make this world a better place. Thank you. Finally, it was time for the 69th NBA All-Star Game featuring Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. <laughs> Making his All-Star debut, going hard in the paint is his style. From the Miami Heat, Bam Adebayo, like a protest on the court, he's an all-time disruptor. From the Miami Heat, y'all give it up for Jimmy Butler. Each team wore 24 and 2 in honor of Kobe and Gianna Brown, and a new game format was debuted that was both competitive and exhilarating. It's still fun to go out there and be known as one of the best players in the world in this league. Here's Butler. Oh, 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 buddies. Looking down the bench and on the court, you start to realize, you know, I'm, a, I'm an all-star and a uh, great experience for me. Donovan Mitchell takes it down. Out of fire. He's out there comfortable knowing that he belongs and just to, you know, experience it with him, see that smile that's on his face. But it won't be the last time that he's out there. An unforgettable experience for both Bam and Jimmy. These two Heat stars certainly haven't seen their last of All-Star Weekend. Ben Renabayo signing off, first All-Star, it was great. Ready to get back with my teammates and get back to the sun in the 305. Heat Nation, thank you so much for spending the weekend with us. We will see you on the other side. Peace. One thing from All-Star Weekend is clear. The Miami Heat have a bright and promising future with a ton of talent as the team finds itself locked in on the playoff push. We look forward to seeing what these All-Stars and their teammates accomplish through the end of the season. We thank them for letting us join in on their whirlwind weekend. And we thank you for joining us on this special edition of Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson.